Hey guys, Blue Yoshi here, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy! Last time, we finally completed the kitchen! Cause I am so happy because now, we won't have to kill ourselves every episode! Wait, Luigi? What the- Oh gosh, already? Whoa, I got a stall, but now I can't get back! This picture shows where I am, help me! Hmm, where was that place? It looks familiar, but then again it does not! Let me give you this picture so that you won't forget where Luigi is. To view a picture plus minus or plus just basic stuff that you should oh, already know. And gosh dang, like we're halfway through the game, I think we know how to open a pot screen. But this game was made for seven year olds, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, so today uh, we are going to be going uh, to the kitchen. No, not the kitchen. We are going to be going to the bedroom. Get out of that. Get, get out of my head, please. We are out of the kitchen now. I do not want to go back into that place. It gives me night meals with all its... Oh, it's gusting... Gusting ghosts and... Booze. And all those to it. But yeah, so before before we do that, uh, we are going to be going to Battle Rock Galaxy today to go save Luigi! Uh, from... From some... Uh, I don't know. From... From himself, because somehow he just gets stuck in these cages by himself. Like, I honestly don't know how he gets into those. I, I no, it, like, makes no sense. Because it's obviously not to wo not the work of Bowser's, because Bowser's too busy with his own shenanigans. He wouldn't have time to do it. Bowser Jr., well, we just kicked his butt. He's not going to be going back to Battle Rock. Um... <laughs> And the Goombas are certainly not constructing anything here, so... I mean, like, they don't even have hands, so... I don't even know how they construct anything in the first place, but... We'll, we'll just gloss over that part, and... Okay, we got oh, we got the two uh, blue things. By the way, I just do want to mention that at the date we are recording this, it is... The t it is the Tuesday. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. It is the presidential election, and... Oh boy, do we have, uh, quite a presidential election this year. Like, wow. <laughs> and, like, there's only been, like, a few presidential elections in my life. Most of them I don't remember, obviously. But, I mean, wow, this one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go too much into my viewpoint or anything. I don't want to influence others' ideas and decisions, but, uh, yeah. That, if, you, if, if you're wondering, that's when I am recording this. So, yes! Let's get over here, um, Wow. Alright. Got these balls shooting at me, gosh dang. Okay, for one, I just want to say, I'm just going to go off a, uh, go, go off a limb here. We're going to the bedroom today. We have balls that are shooting at us. I have a feeling that this is going to be a very vulgar episode. I just... I'm just saying it right now. Okay? Okay. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. <laughs> Alright. Wow, look at all these shiny star bits! I like shinies! And I, I'm... Maybe I am Trigger Conway. You will not know! Oh no! Oh shoot! No! Wait. Is I just standing on it? Is I just standing on it? GAME! GAME! <laughs> Gosh dang. <laughs> what, what is I was about to say? What? Oh. I, guess, I guess it just did not want me to uh, reveal uh, its great plans of me uh, walking on it on its electric field. It didn't want me to make fun of it. It's bad game design. So it just straight out killed me. So, yeah, that just happened. 
Alright, I do want to uh, quickly make mention. I really do like the Battle Rock Galaxy theme. Um, definitely check it out so you can feel it in the background too. I'll try to make the volume up a little more on the, uh, on the, on the music for the game. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice song. If I do say so myself and let's see if we can, no. No, what, 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 and now I'm walking on top of those electric balls. Wow, we all, we have a great start today. We are doing absolutely marvelous. Alright, more shiny things and- oh, shoot. oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, for one, I was turned into a skeleton, which is already something to make note of. But then I just like slid down. Like, like I already died, but I was just like, Whee! Whee! That's how I want to die, in space and then just sliding down like- In my last moments, Kobe- In my- in his last moments, Blue Yoshi fell down and he was like, Whee! And he just, he just slid. That's what he did. Slid. I, that rhymed. I did not mean that to rhyme. Oh my gosh, I. Wait, did that not. Did that not hold me? What? Did you see that? That didn't hold me. Okay, that hold me. Okay, I'm not doing very good in this galaxy. I seriously do not want to waste too much time here because we have a whole galaxy to do. A whole four other stars before this. So yeah, we have quite a bit to do already, but yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that he does want to be my friend today. And let's get these shiny star beds. Yay, shiny, shiny, shiny. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I love how every time I go over one of these obstacles, it just like... Oh! Like I'm physically in pain. Oh my gosh, gravity. Gravity, chill out. Love you. Yeah, see, the problem that I have with gravity is that it's too outspoken. Like, gravity just seems to really be full of itself, if you know what I mean. It only allows, it denies the existence of everything but itself. That's not what I meant to say. And I didn't mean to hit that. I I, I, I meant that it denies the existence of, of, of everything, but wait. Yes, that's right. I, I was right, guys! I didn't do it wrong! Yay! Wait, what? I didn't even touch it! What? What? Okay, come over here, Bullet Bill. We are not doing very good on time, but maybe, maybe you, Bill, can save me. All right. Let's see if you are to be the chosen one. Yes, he is the chosen one, the chosen Bullet Bill toward in the prophecies. Okay, Luigi. Wow, I thought I'd go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time. Luigi. <laughs> Luigi. Luigi? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is amazing! Luigi! How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> Only if you tell Luigi I found this one, what? Because you're hitting on. You're hitting on Rosalina, is that why? You want Rosalina to be proud of you, is that why? It's probably why. Right. <laughs> the power so is mine, yeah. Yeah, see, that, that's what I meant about full of itself. I, I, w I was also talking about Luigi in there. That's, that's what I was, I was talking about when I was talking about gravity. But, yeah, there we go. One out of five stars collected today. Oh, Nelly, we are not doing very good on time. Whew. All right, so, yeah, that is a green star. If you don't already know from the last video that we got a green star, I don't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure that was episode uh, 14 in the Ghostly Galaxy. Uh, but what these green stars do is... Uh, they, once we collect all three of them in the game, they will take us to this, uh... uh oh, wait. Oh, shoot. GAME! Okay, the game really does hate me today, but... I mean, that's to be expected at this point. But yeah, so we have two, we have two out of the three of these, and then once we get all three of them, we'll be able to go to 
uh, those the, the three trials uh, area. I forgot what it's actually called, but that's what we'll just call it now. The free trials area, yeah. But yeah, so as I said before, we have unlocked the bedroom, my favorite dome, and not just because of you know bedroom balls. You know, works the way now. You can kind of picture what what I'm getting out of this, but <laughs> uh, no. But actually, because I like. Uh, the galaxies that are in here, surprisingly. Surpri surprise, surprise, uh, my favorite dome is not just because of, uh, explicit jokes, it's, it's also because it has, it has good galaxies. And what better galaxy to start on than the one that literally everyone on the internet loves? The Gusty Garden Galaxy. Yeah, you knew it. Yeah, so let's go into this. Now, there are many reasons why people like this galaxy, and, well, there are many reasons to like this galaxy, and, well, I will go over them, um, I think the first one, you really just need to heal, so, yeah, I'm gonna allow you to listen to this, so, enjoy. So yeah, if you couldn't tell, I love this song, and I'm not alone on this. It is one of the greatest songs in this game, and one of the greatest songs in Mario overall. So yeah, you could say that it's a well-loved song, and well-deserving of such love. <laughs> so yeah, so that's one of the reasons I very much uh, like this galaxy, and many other people do. Uh, but there's one other that I don't see mentioned very often, actually. It, it is that, uh, well, this principle, alright? So, in basically every Mario game that, uh, you play, you know, you always start in a grass world, and, well, that's just fine and dandy, and, you know, there's no problem with it. Uh, you don't really get to, you know, explore the idea further than those intro levels. Because afterwards, they can just go into desert, water, ice, clouds, mountains, uh, forest. What else do we got? Yeah. And, 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 of, and of lo and lava, that too. But, you know, they never really go back to the grass levels. Which is sad, because grass levels have so much new things that you can, that you can think of, and... You know, they just have a lot of untapped potential, and they're not deserving of just losing all of that because they have to use them in the first levels. And I really like Gusty Garden because, well, it's a it's, uh, level later in the game that uses a grass thing, and it's very innovative while using it. So, yeah, that is 
another reason why I like Gusty Garden. But now let's talk to this beacon emitting magical bunny light here and see what he has to say. Think you can catch me? Boing! I really do not like you. When I was a kid, this level was notoriously hard, and I might fail it now. I'm already not going away. Very well with my recording, we are doing very bad on time. And wow, that was that is amazing! Oh my gosh, I could not have timed that any better. And, oh, uh, what the heck? <laughs> it was like halfway between being up there and not. Anyway, let's grab our second star today. Bunnies, bunnies, we have got their butts. I should have thought of before I speak. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, that's not our first. It's not our first today, I guess. Gotta start somewhere. Okay, I realized <laughs> we're kind of doing bad on time. And by bad on time, I mean like horrible on time. Like, oh my gosh, we are at like 15 minutes right now. Like, oh my gosh, people. <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, the dirty tricks of Major Boys. For the love of God, why? <laughs> That's amazing! That's amazing! What is I was talking about it, too? What is I was talking about it? Oh my gosh. Okay, now in this uh, in this mission, uh, there's really two things that happen. First of all, there's kind of like a mini redesign here. Um, and on the bottom, uh, you're gonna find these little, uh, you're gonna find a lot of spiky things, but also you're gonna find these uh, bricks that you can smash with your butt, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I'll talk about why they're really important here in a second, but, yep. Those more are digging up our garden. It's just terrible. Wait, wait. But you'll get hurt if you just most try down in the ground near them. Okay, so she just literally told me what I was going to cover soon, but, uh, yeah. By the way, these plants are called Floaty Fluffs. Uh, I really like the name, but... I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think the pilot is a night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. See me one through this open door. Oh, oh. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. Okay, now, this is the time I want to talk about game design, okay? Now, if you know me, uh, game design is one of the things that I do, uh, Kind of like as a side thing to my YouTube and composing uh, and arranging music uh, things. So you could say that I'm quite busy. Plus, you know, I do Smash and Pokemon competitively. So yeah, my days are full. But it's not the point. What I'm saying here is, you know, you got you got these uh, little rocks here, and these rocks, as you've seen before in the in these galaxies, uh, you can butt pound them to break them. You know, let's have this unknowing guy come over here to, um, to die. Oh. Uh, I think he heard me, guys. Shoot. My cover has been blown! Okay, um, but yeah, so you have to uh, butt stomp them, or ground pound, uh, to, to, uh, daze them. So, there was a chance that when you ground pound on these, uh, you will daze these guys without even trying to. So, yeah, I think it's ex expert game design, teaching a player uh, the mechanics of a new enemy without explicitly uh, telling them, my gosh, of course I had to use the word explicit in there. I swear, I'm not even trying to make these jokes, it just happens. And that was a bad joke, too! Wow, bad taste is bad taste, my gosh. May the power of gravity compel you, yes! Okay. Hoi! Okay, let's go to this dis- uh, or, or not? Okay, never mind. Thought we'd go to the disc, but nope! Let's just go to a honey's Chris- Honey's- Honey Crisp Apple, if I can, if I can talk. You know, this reminds me, so, 
Uh, recently, uh, I, my grand, my grandfather on my uh, mother's side, his, his name is Phil, uh, he had his, uh, his, um, what, what, what was it called, um, his retirement party, uh, so, <laughs> if you know me, uh, you, you know that I'm big on ice cream, and, well, they had a gallon of ice cream there, you know, fine and dandy, well, well, they also had some root beer, so, you know, they had root beer floats that they were making for people, uh, there wasn't too many people there, like, there was only, like, what, like, nine kids in total, so, so, uh, yeah, anyways, I ate literally all of the root beer floats, like, seriously, the, everyone had one, and then they're like, oh, I'm just good. And then they went back to doing the stuff. I just kept on going back and forth over there and just wait. I thought that we had to hit all the pegs. But this one. Leave no peg behind! Peggy. Peggy Calitarianism. Yeah. Fight for equal rights. All, all pegs. But yeah, if I can continue what I was saying for once in a gosh dang video. Um. Yeah. Funny thing is, is that, um, I, I was checking my, uh, height-to-weight measurements recently, and I'm still extremely slim, which means that I'm too healthy. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if I just need to keep on eating ice cream, or if, I don't, I don't know, because I'm still, like, yeah, it's not. It's not that I'm getting. It's not that I'm not getting enough food because, well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, like I think I ate a ton. Uh, uh. Anyways, let's pound the button. Wow, that guy is one bouncing more. Wow. Oh, guys, he's red now. You know what this means? Remember, kids, when someone is red, they are angry. Wait. You know, or it could be that I'm blushing, but... We don't talk about blushing here. Because it's an explicit thing. <laughs> but just because I said that, the guy just ran over me. He's like, STOP! STOP! He's like, STOP! <laughs> He's like, I'll stop you in your tracks BEFORE YOU DO- OH! Shoot. <laughs> Okay, let's keep on going, heal. Yeah, this might have to be a two bottle. Oh my gosh. Well, that stinks. Um, yeah, tomorrow you're gonna get part two of this because I'm just gonna keep on doing the recording, but... Yeah, we have killed the guy. Yay for us. We are now chi mm, child... Child? We are now animal motors! Yes! As if this video wasn't already... Didn't already have problems. Now we have PETA involved. Yay. Anyways, with that, I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time in part two. See you then.